All right. I'm trying this again. Nope, it's still so loud. Everything's got this. Why do we need this? That's the most dated look of all of modern technology. And modern, I mean, like, it just feels very, like, 2017. Anyways, this is the second time I'm actually filming this video because I'm <clears throat> trying to get the gain on this microphone correct so that it's not blown out, which, like, the last two times that I've filmed on here have been blown out. I spent the whole day moving furniture, basically like a Chinese fire drill. It was the classic, like, just moving rooms of... Et, et. We moved... Th we rotated three different rooms in the house with big, heavy furniture. One of them was two stories from the other, so it's it's been... It's been an exhausting day. We went we went and got Mexican food tonight. And you know, there's something that I've noticed about restaurants, at least with this one restaurant in particular, and I notice it to be kind of true with everything. But if you sit at the bar, you just get better service because at least at the bar, you are able to make eye contact with several people, whether it's the bartender or the bar back or another bartender. But at, a, at like, if you sit at a normal dining room restaurant, depending on the place, you could like go a long time before you see anybody, but at least at a bar, you can make eye contact and like signal to get something that you want. So I'm finding more and more, especially like in this post COVID world where s service is just not as good as it used to be. Maybe it's on the come up. I don't know. It just, it just feels like we're living in a time where there's less good service than there used to be. Anyways, I always get, this is only for people who live in New Hampshire and know this area, but Milford, we have this place called Mijalisco's. I personally love it. Great Mexican restaurant. I always get the jumbo burrito with chicken. It comes with a big old sploosh of guacamole and a big old thing of sour cream, and I just pour that over. It's so good, but it's so filling. I am on, um, I haven't talked about it in a while, and I'll probably do an update, but I'm still doing the, doing the bulking grind, but it's going to be wrapping up here in the last week. I have some footage, I'll probably actually wait, because I, I do have some footage to maybe compile into a, a, a video, but the summary is I'm super fatigued on bulking, just because the amount of food that I have to eat. I'm so ready to start dieting again, and like cutting down, and just getting a little bit leaner. I've just been getting kind of fat. I mean, there's been muscle to come with it, but ultimately it's just tough. There's a lot of like body dysmorphia that's come with it, but it's been a, a good month after I think I'm pretty much, I'm tapering out basically. I'm not, um, I'm kind of doing every other day workouts now as opposed to five days a week. And I'm just giving myself what they call like a deload which is where you, you know, lift less heavy. But instead of that, I'm just working out a little bit less frequent, frequently, giving myself more, more rest days just to prevent burnout. Because when I come back from vacation, I'm ready to start dieting and hitting the gym hard again, but I'm going to do more cardio and I'm going to switch up my routine and I'm just, I got to revitalize the, the enthusiasm. Um, but I'll get into more of that later. So I don't know, but tonight I'm just kind of cranking out this video. So I can go to bed because we're going on vacation and my biggest fear is getting sick because I, I have a tendency to always get sick right before vacation. So I'm trying to get lots of sleep and just be very low stress because cortisol is such an invitation for illness. It really is. That's it.